This video is about a new feature coming in Moodle 2.4 in December, which allows you to restrict access to activities or whole topic sections according to user profile fields. Now, every account in Moodle has profile fields attached to it. Some of them are obligatory, for instance, your first name, last name. Some may be optional, for example, web page, department, and there are others even which the administrator can create custom profile fields. If we take a look at Archie here, for instance, he has a custom profile field added by the administrator where he checks the box to say that he's a registered first aider for his organization. In Moodle 2.4, you can choose which user profile fields you want to select to restrict activities just to those. Let's take a look at how this works by going into a new staff induction course. This is a course run by an organization and every new employee in the first few weeks at the place has to go through some of these activities. In the protocol section, everyone has to do these. In the health and safety section, there are some activities which are going to be restricted to people with certain roles. And the finance section is only going to be completed by those in the finance department. If we turn the editing on and then take a look at the finance section, we'll see how we can restrict the whole topic just to people who are members of the finance department. Now we're going to click the edit button of the finance section. You can do this with groupings, but restricting by user profile fields is just a different way of doing this and it's much simpler. If we scroll down to restrict access, you see that we've got a new option here where it says user field and if we select from the drop down we're going to select that only people who are in the finance department are able to see this section so I'm going to choose department and then I've got various options I'm going to select is equal to and then I want to actually write in the name of the department which I want to see this section department is equal to finance as normally, I can choose either to hide it completely from everyone else or to restrict it so that other departments see that that one is available but it doesn't apply to them unless they're in the finance department. If we save the changes, we can see how that works. And here we can see that at the top of this section it says not available unless your department is equal to finance. Now, another way that we can use this is we can go into a section for example the health and safety section and we can set certain activities only to be available to those with particular user profile fields. The first aid is advanced level assessment. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to make that available only to people who have first aider in their profile because they're registered first aiders. So if we scroll down to the quiz to the restrict access section we have user field again and this time because we've set this as a custom profile field, we have the option First Aider. And for the drop down box here, I'm going to make that it says is not empty. Because if they have ticked or checked the box to say that they are a First Aider for their department, then it's not going to be empty. So that's how it's going to work. Now, we can actually restrict this even more. If we click Add to User Fields Conditions, then we can actually select only first aiders in a particular department can see this. So let's go down and let's select first aiders and then let's choose a department and let's say only the first aiders who are in the IT department will be able to do this activity. If we now save and return to course we'll see what it looks like and then we'll log in as Archie Andrews and see whether or not, whether or not this applies to him. So we've got the first aider's advanced level assessment is not available if you are not a first aider so you don't have that checkbox ticked and it's not available unless you're in the IT department so we need to find someone who is in the IT department and who is a first aider and see how that works. We're logged in as our chief who is a first aider, if we take a quick look at Archie's profile, we can see that in the optional profile fields, 
it actually says that he is in the IT department of Bradshaw Solicitors, so he should be able to access this where others can't. If we go into the course now, and if we go down to health and safety, he can access the quiz, the advanced level assessment. He can't access the finance department section because he's in the IT department. And that is how restricting access according to user profile fields works.